Let's compare the 2024 Honda Crider 1.5 liter Sharp and the BYD Kin LDM i120 km leading model. First, let's assume that the data BYD released at the Kin L launch is accurate. Given this, what should the thermal efficiency of the same displacement Honda Crider Hybrid be? Since a car's range is directly proportional to the engine's thermal efficiency, by calculating proportionally, we find that the thermal efficiency of Honda Crider's 1.5-liter 109-horsepower L4 hybrid engine must be 65.67%. If we assume the Honda Crider's 1.5-liter 109-horsepower L4 hybrid engine has a thermal efficiency of 40%, then BYD's 1.5-liter 101-horsepower L4 plug-in hybrid engine's thermal efficiency must be 28.05%. Thermal efficiency of only 28.05%. Isn't that equivalent to the thermal efficiency of engines from a century ago? So, is the BYD Kin L essentially a super zombie product that pulls a century-old zombie out of its grave and dresses it up with modern makeup? The price of the 2024 Honda Crider 1.5-liter Sharp luxury version is 109,800 RMB. The price of the BYD Kin L starts at 99,800 RMB, and the 2024 Kin L DM i80 km superior model is also 109,800 RMB. If a zombie level junk product can sell for more than 99,800 RMB, isn't the price of the BYD Kin L outrageously high? After seeing and hearing all this, do you still think BYD's DMI technology is advanced? Or do you think it's outdated and no longer viable? Furthermore, don't you have serious doubts about the data BYD has released? Going a step further, don't you think it's time to strip BYD of its so-called new energy vehicle green license plate?